Praise God, praise God, and good morning to you, brothers and sisters, friends, New Palestine Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, anybody else who happens to be joining us right now, thank you so very much for checking out this video. This is going to be the first of installations to come. Hopefully we are going to be able to switch on to live streaming shortly. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this going and exactly what we're trying to do with it. But basically the idea, uh, my apologies if I look a little rough this morning, but that's actually kind of the idea. This is a time in the morning to gather, to have hot coffee together, to uh, read a scripture together, just reflect just a little bit as we get going on with our days. So, um... Thank you again for being here. Please remember to like and subscribe and all that to stay connected. And we will get going. What you see in the picture is actually right at the Mediterranean Sea where Israel bumps up against it. And what you see off in the distance is Joppa, uh, a place that we find in the Bible and actually find by a couple of different names. It's off in the distance in that picture where there is a lighthouse on the hill far off in the distance right by the water. But we see the water, we see the land, we see the sun, we see things that are talked about in the scripture today, which is why I wanted to share that picture with you. The scripture that we're looking at today and starting out with, I start a little bit to decide what to start out with and why not start at the beginning, right? So we are going to look at the first chapter of Genesis, the creation story, or at least part one of creation, however we want to look at that. Uh, so let's read it together, dig into it a little bit, and reflect for a moment, and uh, carry on with our days. If you would, please uh, uh, settle in with your comfortable chair with your coffee, and let's get this rolling. So we are reading from Genesis and I'm just going to make this bigger so you can follow along. What you will actually find here is that the uh, uh, New Revised Standard Version is on the left, the JPS Tanakh Version is on the right. Uh, New Revised Standard Version, what we usually use in the Disciples Church, JPS Tanakh is the Jewish Publication Society, Tanakh translation, that's Torah, Nevi'im, Ketuvim, that's the Old Testament, and the Jewish translation of it, which I really appreciate for the Old Testament Hebrew Scriptures, uh, for uh, another translation on that. So you're invited to read from either side that suits you. I'm going to read from the JPS Tanakh side, and you're welcome to uh, follow along or close your eyes and just listen or however you um, will gain the most from your time with Scripture. So, uh, together we read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. When God began to create heaven and earth, the earth being unformed and void with darkness over the face of the deep and a wind from God sweeping over the water, God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from darkness. He called the light day, and the darkness he called night. There was evening, there was morning, a first day. God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the water, that it may separate water from water. God made the expanse, and it separated the water which was below the expanse from the water which was above. And it was so. God called the expanse sky. There was evening, there was morning second day. God said, let the water below the sky be gathered into one area, that the dry land may appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering of the waters he called seas, and God saw this was good. And God said, let the earth sprout vegetation, seed-bearing plants, fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruits with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, seed-bearing plants of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. God saw that this was good. There was evening, there was morning, the third day. God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate day from night. They shall serve as signs for the set times, the days and the years. They shall serve as lights in the expanse of the sky to shine upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to dominate the day and the lesser light to dominate the night and the stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to shine upon the earth to dominate 
the day and the night to separate light from darkness. God saw this was good. There was evening and there was morning. Fourth day. God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and birds that fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. God created the great sea monsters and all the living creatures of every kind that creep, which the waters brought forth in swarms and all the winged birds of every kind. And God saw this was good. God blessed them, saying, be fertile and increase. Fill the waters in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. There was evening, there was morning fifth day. God said, let the earth bring forth every kind of living creature. Cattle, creeping things, the wild beasts of every kind, and it was so. God made wild beasts of every kind and cattle of every kind and all kinds of creeping things on earth, and God saw that it was good, and God said, let us make humankind in our image after our likeness. They shall rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the cattle, the whole earth, and all creeping things that creep on earth. And God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fertile and increase. Fill the earth and master it and rule the fish of the sea and the birds of the sky and all the living things that creep on earth. God said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant that is upon the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit. They shall be yours for food. And to all the animals on the land, all the birds of the sky, everything that creeps in earth in which there is the breath of life, I give all... The green plants for food. It was so. God saw all that he had made. Found it very good. There was evening, there was morning. This is the sixth day. The heaven and earth were finished. All their array. In the, on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had been doing. He ceased on the seventh day from all the work that he'd done. God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on it God ceased from all the work of creation he'd done. Such is the story of heaven and earth when they were created. This is the word of the Lord, and all thanks be to God. So, just a brief reflection on what we just read. Uh, one, I'd like to point the difference out to you in the very end of the passage, where the Jewish Publication Society version says, Such is the story of the heaven and earth when they were created. Um, the NRSV actually uses generations, such are the generations when the heaven and earth are created. Uh, I like the word better of saying this is the story because that's what this is. This is a story. Um, clearly, if you read it, uh, it's not a scientific telling of how the earth was made. This was a theological telling of how the earth was made with a great theological point. And that's what I, I hope we're picking up on this morning. Um, there's lots of room for interpretation. You know, lots of Christian Christians go for the creationist understanding of, of how the earth got here, and others go for an evolutionist understanding, and then some others have some other ideas too, and we're not going to get into what's right, what's wrong, that kind of thing, but I do want to emphasize reading this as a story. Okay, this is a story with a purpose to teach us about who God is and that God, in fact, made the heavens and the earth. Whether it went exactly like this or not is beside the point, because how this is told teaches us something very important. God created everything on this earth to be good. God created human beings to oversee everything on the earth. Human beings were created to be good. Everything, after everything was created, God took a good look at it and said, This is very good. 
This is what we are made to be. Very good. Please stop and think of someone who is very good in your life. Some family member, a friend, a role model in the faith. Someone who has really struck you as being special and the kind of person that we should be in this world. A very good person. Because that's the intention God had for us in the first place, and that is the will of the Lord for us to be living into. So uh, let us focus this day on how we might be very good, very good human beings for God, for each other, even for ourselves. May the Lord be with you this special, blessed day. By the way, once again, Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers and special women out there. Uh, we love you, we appreciate you, and we still celebrate you, even though it's the day after Mother's Day now. Uh, thank you so much for all of you do. Uh, people of God, um, God loves you, I love you, and see you again soon. God bless you.